So just confirming what we see here, I see we have kind of by quarter going back to 2023 to Q4 of 2024, we have um, gross margins of large auto dealers. Um, and so I'm assuming this is the gross margin percent going going down over time. And then we have the component of that from, from the different kind of segments that, that we just discussed. Is it okay if I just take a few seconds to, to read the chart quick before coming back with insights? Yeah, please. So looking at this, three things sort of jump out to me. One is that um, all segments except after sale service and parts are declining in profit. So it's kind of, you know, impacting most of the business. And I would say being impacted by by almost all of the segments are causing this decline in profitability. New vehicle sales is having the largest decline, which maybe relates to some of the things that, that we just talked about with interest rates. Um, but there's basically an across the board decline on, on three of the four segments on this chart. Um, biggest decline in new vehicles. The, the second takeaway I'm getting here is this is kind of an industry-wide problem. Um, so this is of all publicly traded U.S. auto dealers. So it's not just Morgan Auto Group. Um, so that kind of gets to this isn't something that our client is doing wrong. This is an industry-wide issue. Um, and so that maybe will change how we approach the problem. And then the third thing that jumps out to me is that after sale service and parts are the biggest contributor to profitability here for these dealers on average. Um, so if you look at like uh, Q4, for example, it looks like it's 30, 40, 40 ish percent of, of the profit margin. Um, and so that's interesting to me because I would have thought a dealer is just going to be more focused on car sales. Uh, so that's interesting. In terms of a next step, I think just given the decline in new vehicle sales has been so dramatic and used, I, I would just want to dive into more um, uh, on what's driving this.